little slice of heaven. Some of the most remote beaches in Venezuela. Baseball? With bottle cap. Oh, que lindo. That is some beautiful cacao. Chimichurri sauce. Good morning, beautiful people. I have felt so comfortable in this country that today I'm heading off with my buddy Heli here. Hi. Heli doesn't speak English, but I speak a little bit of Spanish. Yo hablo un poco de español. Yeah. See. Sí. So today we are leaving Caracas behind to a town called Choroni, which is a small fishing village on the coast. It's also the home to many beautiful beaches and a town called Joao, which is world renowned for production of cacao. We've arrived in Chironi. It's a quaint little town with colorful houses and a beautiful church. It sounds like some music is being played inside. It's Christmas time. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but we should go inside and take a look. Welcome to my lovely Posada. Hi. Hello! Hi. Beautiful Posada. How are you guys? I am fine. You speak English? Yes, a little bit. Ah, this is a beautiful place, isn't it? This is what you get for $25 in Choroni. Lovely small room with air conditioning, private bathroom, Wi Fi. Honestly, what more do you need? After settling into my posada, I met a local girl named Angelica who took me to an incredible viewpoint. That is beautiful. You do not lie. Uh huh. <laughs> El se llama Beaker. 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 Ah. Good morning from Chironi. It's 8 o'clock. The music's blaring. The fishermen are going out. I will be going out on a boat soon. But first, breakfast. Empanada, empanada. ¿Qué tipo de empanada prefieres? Yo cualquiera, cazón. All of them. Chimichurri sauce. Lather it on to make it even healthier. It's very good, but it's very greasy. I don't know why I ordered a breakfast as well. Uno más? No. Listo? Listo. Voy a chual. Sin Angelica. Vamos a Chihuahua! Chihuahua, baby! The only way to get to Chihuahua is on a boat. It's completely isolated. It's completely isolated from the rest of the mainland. There's no roads in or out, and they've been living like this their entire lives. I'm very excited to check out this kind of hidden place in Venezuela. We're gonna go on a car about four kilometers to see the real town. To see, oh, here it is. Here we go. Vamos. You really have to watch out. There are branches coming at you left and right. If you're not watching, you can get whacked in the face. It's so peaceful here on the top of this pickup truck, if you will. There's no other traffic on the road save for a few motorbikes here and there. I actually think this is the only car in town. We made it. Hola. Vamos a probar. Este, bombones y chocolate ya comestible. ¿Qué es? Ponche, le hecho con leche. Ponche. Sí. Licor. Licor. Wow, that looks very thick. Gracias. De nada. It's chocolate and it's alcohol. I mean, how could you not love it? Wow, that is serious, serious cacao. 100%. This is the processed one. This is the one with the sugar and the milk that I like. Me gusta este más, con leche y azúcar. This is basically a chocolate bar. It still has a little bit of a different taste because the cacao is so fresh and it kind of has a little bit of a coffee taste to it, which is delicious. Me gusta su cacao. So this is the main square. In this main square, on Mondays through Fridays, you'll see cacao being left out to dry, covering this entire plaza. Walking through town, 
I'm still kind of blown away by how they got everything here since there's no roads to get here. You have to get everything in and out by boat and look at this place. So now we're in the thick of Chihuahua town and these houses are actually made from the earth. You could see mud houses. Very cool. The house tour. Quien es? Abuela. Abuela, donde esta? Muerta. Muerta, oh, lo siento. Pero ella está aquí. Hola, como esta? Oh, que lindo. Cuánto persona vive aquí? Tres. Tres. Picker. Picker. <laughs> Literally throwing the bottle caps, playing baseball with bottle caps. Baseball? With bottle cap. Hey, better, 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 swing better. Adios. Let's go see about some cacao. That is some beautiful cacao right there, straight from the source. El mejor cacao de todo el mundo. So I'm standing here in the boatyard of Chihuahua. It sure is beautiful. I bet it looks even better from the drone. Let's go. We've made it to beautiful Sepe Beach, super isolated here on the northern coast of Venezuela, and I'm about to fall into the water. We have some people here relaxing on Sepe. They don't believe that I'm from the United States. It's very weird to see a tourist from somewhere that's not Venezuela visiting a beach that's so far away from the regular beaches that tourists usually visit once they come to Venezuela. But actually, this guy over here came to one of the most beautiful paradises this country has. The best restaurant in all of Sepe. Polar. 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 It's the good stuff. I've arrived at a little slice of heaven. I've got my polar beer, I've got the waves, I've got the mountains. Lunch is being delivered. Look at this. Woo. Big hunk of tuna with lemon and garlic right on the beach here. Oh, it's so delicious. I can only sit still on the beach for so long, so we're going to check out Sepe Village. This place is really, really relaxing. Me gusta mucho. ¿Cuánto tiempo vive aquí? Hoy, primer día? Wow! Fiesta! Felicidades! The house isn't even finished yet. This is amazing. Wow, the bedrooms are huge, as is the bed. We've got the kitchen over here. And it looks like this is all built from the earth. So it starts with the bamboo, and then they put the earth, and then they put the cement like this. Super fuerte casa. Mi nombre es Beaker. Beaker. Ah! Beaker. 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 Queso y pan es su favorito. Vale. Disfruta su casa nueva. Gracias. Bye. 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 One posada in Sepe. Let's take a look. This is fantastic. Had I known, I'd stay here. ¿Cómo se llama? Felipe. Felipe. ¿Cuánto cuesta una habitación? Para dos personas. Una persona. 120 con el desayuno. 120. 140 con el desayuno y la cena. 140 for two. Seriously, for $140 for two people, you get an awesome room in a secluded beach, and you get breakfast and dinner. That's a good deal. And you get a parrot. Hola. Hola. Get 
Chal. Orena. Orena. <laughs> You've got a very pointy beak and you're right next to my eye. I don't like it. <laughs> He's getting some of my lunch. You don't like beaker? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, Lorena. Bye, Lorena. We made it the whole day and the cacao did not melt. Would you like some? Get it? Let's see. It's not bad. Muy bueno el cacao. Woo! Okay, so here we go on the crazy ride back. <laughs> Have a great day in Chual, in Sepe. You guys are amazing. I felt really safe. Great time, great food, great capitan, great guide, and my man over here, Ali. And there you go. That's how you spend 48 hours in Chironi, Chual, Sepe. Thank you so much for joining me on another adventure. I have so much more Venezuelan content to come. So please, won't you subscribe and follow me as I explore this incredible country in all its riches. Adios de Chironi.